If you're like me, then you are constantly using a computer. These days, it's hard not to. The consequences of this, however, is wrist pain and even carpal tunnel syndrome caused by doing the same wrist movements over and over. I was concerned about this because I edit a lot of videos and the process of video editing can take hours, even days. So I did some research and I went out and got the best ergonomic mouse I could find. And this is my Logitech M570 wireless trackball review. This mouse is currently less than $30 and it has an almost perfect four and a half out of five star rating on Amazon. And the link is in the description below for when you wanna check it out yourself. The Logitech M570 is not just for people who are specifically looking for an ergonomic mouse, but in my opinion, everyone who uses a computer on a daily basis should own this mouse. And here's why. It's actually not labeled as a mouse. Instead, Logitech calls it a wireless trackball because instead of moving your arm like with a traditional mouse, with the M570, you are rolling this ball around with your thumb to move your mouse across your screen. Having said that, I will still refer to this as a mouse and a trackball throughout this video. Right out of the box, the Logitech M570 works with Windows and Mac. Just connect the unifying receiver to a USB port, turn on the trackball, and you're ready to start using it. The wireless capability is one of its best features. It can work upwards of 30 feet away from the computer. Also, since the tracking sensor is built inside the mouse, it can literally be used on nearly any surface, or no surface at all. I also love how lightweight it is in the long battery life. It comes with a Duracell AA battery and Logitech claims that one battery can last up to 18 months. I've owned this mouse for a few months and I still haven't needed to replace the battery yet, but I usually turn the mouse off when I'm not using it anyway. The ergonomics is also one of its best features. The way it's designed lets your hand rest at a more natural position, which should help relieve any wrist pain when using it for long periods of time. For me, the trackball was very smooth right out of the box. However, if it's not as smooth as you'd like, you can pop the ball out and wipe it down with a cotton cloth to make it even smoother. The rubber grips on the bottom give it a sturdy placement on the surface it's on, so the mouse itself doesn't accidentally move when your hand is resting on it at an angle. The mouse feels great in the hand. On the top, it has standard left and right click buttons and a scroll wheel. It also has quick access to forward and back buttons, which can be programmed as custom triggers using the free Logitech software. There's also a battery light indicator as well. The bottom where the battery goes has a slot for the unifying receiver in case you are traveling and don't wanna lose the USB dongle. Really, the only downside of the M570 is that it's designed only for right-handers, like most mouses. Having said that, for right-handers, this is one of the best purchases you'll make. The Logitech M570 is my go-to mouse when I need a break from my trackpad or my Logitech MX Performance. It is a smooth, long-lasting, and comfortable wireless mouse that works great. I highly recommend it because for less than 30 bucks, you could potentially avoid long-term pain or damage to your wrists. Again, my Amazon link for this mouse is in the description below, so check that out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.